Lulworth Cove is busy at the best of times. The car park is huge and at weekends it looks more like Blackpool than a quiet coastal cove. This poses many problems for the landscape photographer, best resolved by staying the night and shooting early morning and late evening. These images were taken during three visits and I stayed at HF Holiday's Hotel West Lulworth House, which they purchased a few years ago and have refurbished to a very high standard of comfort. As usual, I kept my kit simple using the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark II and the 12 to 100 Pro lens. Nothing else. This view is usually full of visitors, but not late afternoon when it's home time, and I am more likely to be plagued by wheelie bins. However, the cottages bordering the road to the cove are easier to photograph when the lane is busy, and surprisingly, this shot got more likes on Facebook than I could ever imagine. There is a vogue for early morning or late evening shoots, but I would stress that I don't go back to bed between 10 and 4. I too succumb to these times, but sticking to them risks predictable hues when you yearn for a bit more variation in colour. The experienced landscape photographer should be able to take shots at any time of day, so when Lulworth Cove is busy, shots highlighting patterns and movement are best, and I am not opposed to chocolate box shots, which publishers outside the photographic magazine market often prefer. When photographing early morning or late evening, I could be shooting into the sun. Because I use a zoom, the 12 to 100 lens, it is not the best optic. A prime is better, so why? Well, the problem is flare, not helped by a complex optic. But this can be resolved by using a small aperture, f16 or 22. This might risk degradation of the image through diffraction, so you are caught between two problems. In my opinion, flare ruins an image more than diffraction, and when a small aperture is used, you get a natural starburst without using a filter. Either way, you have a composition of huge dynamic range that auto never sorts out. I spot meter very close to a highlight, save to raw and restore underexposed shadows in Lightroom by using shadow and black sliders, nothing fancy. Lightening shadows in post-production risks noise, but again faced once more with an impossible choice, a bit of noise is preferable to blown out highlights, causing parts of the image to disappear completely. If you want a real challenge, then stroll down to the beach at night, under a full moon. I took just one camera, relying on the excellent image stabilizers in both camera and lens. Ignorance and a touch of naivety helped. I casually pointed the camera and pressed the shutter button and waited, and waited, and finally, kaplonk, wow, that took a long time, and when I checked the metadata, it said eight seconds, oh well, ignorance is bliss, but then I am not a real photographer, am I, because when I take snaps that are lucky, <laughs> well, there you are, 